Burning Godzilla is here with a game featuring some of his prehistoric ancestors in Chuck Rock for your Sega Genesis. So let's go ahead and take Chuck Rock. Let's pop it in my Sega Genesis and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Chuck Rock was published by Virgin Games and released in 1991. It is a port of the computer game of the same name. The manual gives the following backstory. Chuck, your typical caveman slob, is slouched in his comfy stone chair, glued to the TV, drinking a can of his favorite beverage, root beer. This seems like any other day in Chuck's life. Even the aerial bird, which serves as Chuck's TV antenna, is getting bored with the same old thing and can't help nodding off to sleep. Ophelia, Chuck's wife, is going about her mundane daily chores, hanging out with yet another load of laundry. However, unknown to her, the day is about to change. As Ophelia bends down to take some laundry from her basket, the evil Gary Gritter, a longtime admirer of Ophelia, sneaks up from behind with his club raised. Just as she hears something moving about behind her, down comes the club with a thud on the back of Ophelia's head. Chuck, startled by the commotion outside, lifts his overweight frame from the comfort of his chair to do some investigating. Then, remembering that all of his clothes are in the wash, he covers his pride with his hands before venturing outside, only to find no Ophelia, just a rumpled pile of laundry in fresh tracks where something or someone seems to have been dragged through the dirt. A little bit embarrassed by his current state of dress, Chuck dashes behind the nearest bush and emerges wearing the latest in designer leaf and twig pants. Now Chuck begins his search to rescue Ophelia. Chuck Rock is a platformer for one player only with one standard mode of difficulty. The game is comprised of five levels, each one having three to five sections and a boss battle at the end. For the controls, you use the D-pad to move, down to duck, B to do what the manual unfortunately calls a belly butt attack, and C to jump. Some characters can be belly bumped to help you, such as pterodactyls who can fly you over large gaps. After jumping, you can press B to do a jump kick. There are also rocks you can pick up by pressing down and B at the same time. While holding the rock, you can press B to throw it or down and B again to set it down. Holding rocks can sometimes protect you from attacks from above. But when you are holding a rock, you move slower and can't jump as high. The rocks can be used as platforms to help you avoid obstacles or to jump to areas where you cannot reach without standing on a rock. A heart on the bottom of the screen serves as a health bar. Getting attacked shrinks it. When it empties, you lose a life and have to restart at the beginning of your current section. Lose all of your lives and you can use one continue. You can, however, pick up hearts to increase your health meter and various objects for extra points. For every 100,000 points you earn, you get an extra life. Graphically speaking, the game has a slightly above average look with some humorous animations. While the sound effects were simply okay, I did like the unga bunga Chuck said, which for some reason reminded me of Captain Caveman on the Flintstone Kids TV show. The soundtrack, however, was quite good and perhaps the best part of the game. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating if released today, perhaps with a notification for comic mischief or cartoon violence. Currently at PriceChart.com, the game has a value of $11 loose, $23 complete, and $52 new. So what did I think of Chuck Rock on the Sega Genesis? This one grew on me, kind of like a fungus, but a good fungus. However, the game does have some things that hold it back. I didn't care for the basic belly attack, as it requires you to be very close to enemies with little room for error. Throwing rocks at enemies is also a little bit difficult due to their weird arc. You can get stuck in some areas as well if you accidentally get rid of a rock, requiring you to try to find a way to kill yourself in order to get unstuck. And the game has some balance issues, with some of the tougher areas and bosses occurring in the middle of the game rather than at the end. But the game has some charm, good controls, and a solid soundtrack. Thankfully, you can also find a level skip code online if you want to skip certain areas or avoid restarting at the beginning after you use up your only continue. Chuck Rock may not be a must-have game, but I certainly enjoyed playing it while I did. So where am I going to rank Chuck Rock? Somewhere in the teens. I do like F-22 Interceptor more at 17, but I will put this over Monopoly at 18. So out of the 36 games I've now ranked for the Sega Genesis, Chuck Rock is belly button at the 18 position. There are 
better platformers on the Genesis, but Chuck Rock is still a worthy play for platforming fans. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. Check out some of my many other videos and sign up at patreon.com slash gamer just like Mark W. did to support the show and gain access to exclusive perks. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care, especially of belly button cavemen.